Hi hey everyone, Dr. Tanner Dobson, and in this video we're going to be doing a root canal. This is a patient that came in with a large cavity on their front tooth uh, that was well into the nerve, and we fixed it with a root canal and a filling. So there's our final result, and in this video we're going to be going over that procedure. As you can see, there's a large cavity, lots of plaque on the teeth, lots of inflammation in the gums. Here's an x-ray showing the tooth. You can see the dark spot at the end of the root tip, and that's what an infected tooth looks like on, on an x-ray. So we're going to go in and freeze the tooth on the cheek side and then a little bit on the palate. Uh, this patient knows that their oral hygiene is inadequate. You can see the gums are red all over the place. Lots of plaque build up. You know, this patient needs to see a hygienist every three to six months and uh, really start, uh, start brushing twice a day with a high fluoride toothpaste, flossing daily as well. I'm going to remove most of the plaque from the surface of the teeth using a polishing cup and some pumice just to give us a little bit of a cleaner operative field. And then we're going to get to work on the tooth. Since the tooth decay goes a little bit below the gums, I'm going to use this electrocautery tip to uh, basically ablate some of the gum tissue so that we have a good millimeter or two of clean, hard tooth tissue. So once we have accessed uh, the, uh, the margin of the clean tooth, we're going to start to remove the tooth decay using this slow speed hand piece. And tooth decay is quite soft and it just peels away using this uh, slow speed hand piece. We're going to refine the tooth with this uh, high speed burr and then uh, I actually plan to do the filling first and then the root canal second because the root canal is usually done from the tongue side, but we actually accessed the pulp chamber um, pretty cleanly from the cheek side, so I decided that we would do a buccal access root canal on this uh, on the central incisor. We're going to put the rubber dam on to separate the uh, working field from the rest of the mouth. When we do root canal, we're using a, uh, a pretty caustic uh, sterilizing uh, irrigant that's actually basically just household uh, bleach called also called sodium hypochlorite so we need to make sure that we have a clean field that doesn't uh, doesn't leak into the patient's mouth and root canal is basically done by using these rotary files and opening up the nerve chamber or at least the, the chamber where the nerve and the blood vessels would have lived if this was a vital tooth. Once a cavity gets into the nerve of a tooth, the nerve and the blood vessels die and devitalize. And, uh, and then it's just a bacterial infection inside the tooth. Just kind of an, an empty, empty cavity with bacteria that will, uh, will cause pressure buildup. And that's basically what an abscess is. We're going to place a little bit of this barrier onto the tissue so that our irrigant doesn't, doesn't irritate the patient's gum tissue. And then we're going to begin taking our files to length uh, using a thin file and then we'll work our way up to a thicker one. That little gray clip that attaches to the file is what's called an apex locator and uh, it will notify us when the file is at the end of the root tip so that we don't end up instrumenting outside of the tooth. And the, uh, and the white uh, paste is, uh, is a lubricant that allows the files to pass easier through the, through the root canal of the tooth to the tip of it. And we're just going to keep opening up the root canal, taking these files. There's a series of about five or six of them to length until we've opened up the tooth. And that opening allows us to get our irrigant down into the bottom of the root tip, which will sterilize the tooth. It will kill the infection, and then it will allow the tooth to heal up. This is a little sonic activator that basically just shakes and jiggles our, our irrigant solution around and it allows it to clean more effectively. This is going to be our last file in the series. We'll take it down to length. And then we'll irrigate one last time. And then we'll use our sonic activator. And then once we've finished our filing or the preparation, we call it, we're going to verify that we have uh, have opened up the tooth to length. So I'm, we're going to put this little gutta percha cone, which is like a plastic material that seals the tooth, 
down into the tooth and then take an x-ray and we can see that we're all the way down to the root tip. We're happy with that. We're going to take um, these little paper absorbent points and dry off the tooth so that we can seal it and fill it. We're going to put one more in, make sure that the tooth is fully dry, and then we will put our sealer in the tooth. And this is a bioceramic paste that uh, fills up the tooth and then that that plastic point will go in and squish it all down to ensure that the system is closed. So here's our got a percha point and it's actually going to squish a little bit of this sealer out the end of the tooth. We usually like to see a little bit of material, sealer material go out the end of the tooth. So we're, we're going to show on an x-ray what that looks like. And it's good to verify that the all of the system has been has been filled. What does a successful root canal look like? Here's another one that we did. You can see that there's the dark area at the root tips of this upper right first premolar. Here's how it looked after the root canal with the sealer going out the end of the roots. And then one year later, you can see that the bone has filled back in with, uh, with healthy bone tissue. So once our tooth is sealed up, we are ready to put a filling in it. And uh, so that the filling doesn't spill out, we put this little plastic band between the tooth and its neighbor and then stabilize it using this little blue plastic wedge. I'm just going to remove, uh, we're, we're going to pack down the top bit of gutta percha there with a heated plugger. And then we're going to remove the last little bit of tooth decay on the right side of the tooth there just to make sure that there's no more soft tooth decay before we place our filling. We're going to condition the surface of the tooth using this blue gel, which is a, a acidic gel that just kind of dissolves the surface layer of uh, any kind of impurities and gives us a clean surface of tooth to bond our filling to. I like to use a filling material called a glass hybrid. And this uh, particular filling is called Equiaforte HT. It's a great material. I've been using it for a couple of years now and I've had a very high success rate with it. And I'll usually overfill the tooth with the filling and then I'll pack it in with a little cotton pellet to ensure that all of the margins are sealed. And we'll do that on the cheek side and the tongue side. There is a little bit of opening on the tongue side of the tooth. We'll, we'll cure the material with this uh, LED light curing unit. And then we'll give it some time to finish setting. And then we'll remove the rubber dam and basically just trim the filling material back until we're back onto the natural surface of the tooth. So this patient doesn't feel anything during the procedure uh, with the with the freezing, you know, gums are gonna be sore for a couple of days uh, and then uh, and then that will go away. We would expect uh, we would expect a successful result with this procedure. I'll usually take an x-ray after a year or so to ensure that the the bone has healed up around the the abscess. When, when there's an infected tooth like this and we do a root canal, the, the patient does not experience instant relief because of how the bone has dissolved from the root tip. It, it takes a few months for bone to heal back in, but, uh, but they will indeed experience relief in time. We'll check that the bite has no high spots on the filling. And then we, uh, we actually place a little varnish over this type of material to seal it up which also gets light cured. So that's how a root canal is done. This was a pretty simple tooth to do a root canal on because there's only one root. Posterior teeth can have up to four roots and four canals. So it can be pretty complex. That's why there's a whole specialty dedicated to doing root canals. But that's the, that's the basic gist. Here's the x-ray of the final result and then the, or the photo and then there's the x-ray. Thanks for watching.